Hello everyone, Helen here. Oh, for the first time ever I'm coming to you from our camper van. We're away at the moment, uh, well as I'm recording this, when you see it I won't be away. Um, and I just thought I would chat to you in here today. But if you're visiting me just because you've um, kind of searched for camper vans and camper van tours, then uh, you're very welcome. And for all of my usual regular viewers who also tune in for a bit of crafting and nature and other things, uh, this is just going to be a camper van tour today. And I'll be back next week with a little bit more, actually a little bit more about our Scotland trip. So. Anyway, for today, I'm just going to give you a, a bit of a tour of our camper van as it is at the moment. And those of you who've been here before will know that we've only had this a matter of weeks. And uh, so, and this is the first trip that we've come on where we've been away for more than one night. We were away for five nights this time. So it's a little bit uh, fuller and I thought it was in a, we were in a position now to, um, kind of start experimenting with where to store things and I thought I would share that with you because if you do have a camper van and if you're new to it especially uh, then you might find it interesting and I'm sure that at some point in the future I'll do another tour of the camper van and things will be differently arranged but we're just trying things out at the moment and um, so I hope that even if you haven't got a camper van or if you used to have one or if you wish you had one um, or if you just like to see what's inside people's camper vans then you know, might like to um, just stay with me today and, and have a look around. So I will pop in again at the end um, but I'm just going to leave you now with a, with a, a little tour around our camper van as it is right now. So below the back seat, there's lots of storage area and there's two cupboards here in this one on the left. We have two boxes which fit very nicely, the space either side which hopefully we'll be able to utilise in time. And this is my box. Just comes out. And this is my box. Oops. Where I have got mostly clothes. That's my nighttime attire in there. This has got diary and pencil case in it. And then most of my clothes, not this jumper, are just in little pouches like this. So it's all very organised there. And then here is where I've got my laptop and chargers and various things like that. And then if I move this box out of the way, you can see there is another similar box at the back there which has got all of Phil's clothes in. I'll just pull it out and it just comes out again just exactly the right size there. It's got a zip top and he's got his clothes and things in there and that closes like that. And then in the cupboard on the right First thing in there, very important bag, is my craft project that I've brought with me. And down here, oops, you reach it, is a all important uh, floor brush for sweeping all the bits that gather. And here is a food box just again fits in perfectly. Well, at the back of there all you can see in there at the moment are our walking boots. So here we have our sink which lifts up there like that and two burner hob and in here we can store the kettle and our mugs 
thing for putting tea bags, old tea bags in, and a cloth to stop things sliding around. There, one of my crochet cloths there. Did you see that? So, okay, stay down while we're moving along. And then below the sink, we have the fridge. And it has actually got a little freezer in it there as well, which we're not currently using. And then at the moment, I've put these three boxes which fit very nicely there so we can put food in there. It stops it sliding around too much. Some cold water there. And then in the door, some milk and mayonnaise there. And it's a courgette there waiting to be used as well. So, yeah, so that's the fridge. And then next to the fridge, there is a grill. And this is where I keep the oven glove grabber, which is very useful because the kettle gets a little bit hot sometimes. And below that is this cupboard here. Let's see. We've got so in here we have got at the moment uh, two utensil, wooden utensil pots, which we've got various utensils in. We've got um, washing up liquid and hand wash liquid. Over the back there, we've got some olive oil and other utensils and knives in there. And that is actually over a, a vent that's down here, which is why we added these little legs so that it wasn't covering the vent completely. And then over at this side of the cupboard, we've got uh, two kind of plate racks here, which is lodged into place so it can't slide around. It's got some non-stick feet underneath the bottom there and there's a bit of wood cut to size at the back so it can't slide all the way back and so we've got our chopping board plates spare storage box there collapsible colander and bowl there so that's what's in there at the moment so by the side of the seat here we've got this cupboard here show you what's in there so here we've got uh, two more of the boxes same as the ones that are in the fridge which are currently empty but I think on a, a longer trip we'll probably keep um, non-perishables in pasta rice other things here we've got uh, our cutlery and this is just a pencil case it's, it's padded really nice there and we've got the spoons and knives and forks in there and because it's padded it doesn't really rattle around and in the back of the cupboard there you can see we've got some acrylic uh, tumblers there there's two there and then two over at the other side we have here a set of pans we've got a great big pot and there's a smaller one inside and then a frying pan on the top a fairly standard uh, camping set uh, it's got handles as well that you can screw in um, but it's quite a big one that's that's about the biggest one uh, that you would get and then you can just see in the corner there there's some bowls and two more tumblers and a measuring jug there at the moment I'm not entirely satisfied with how that's being stored at the moment but it'll have to do for the moment and above this cupboard we have Quite a decent amount of work top here. And oop. Hello Pearl, hello Dean. Sitting there. Sometimes they sit up there. I usually sit up there at night time. And what have we got here? So we've got a carbon monoxide detector here. And up here we've got some power sockets, various kind, USB, three pin one, and then there's a, one of those ones that used to be called a cigarette adapter. You can, other adapters inside there and above that there uh, we have these switches here this this one uh, you can press and find out 
how much power there is in the leisure battery and the leisure battery runs the fridge and things like that uh that, this one here sorry and this one here is switches on the pump for the water so we get running water this one is just the kind of the main lights that you can put on at night time and then this here is the switch uh for the fridge so that stays on all the time that we're in the in the van and then up here just underneath this shelf here is a smoke detector although <laughs> we are currently today needing to go and find it a battery because it went peeping away all through the night occasionally but very annoyingly on this shelf here so just below the ceiling we've got uh, tea bags so we've got English breakfast and Earl Grey and these are chamomile tea bags yep, here we've got bin bags in here there are as a store of um, plastic small plastic bags and clippets in this one here is a spare dishcloth crocheted dishcloth and some hand gel and in the little blue one there's some matches at the moment and on this um, shelf we've put some non-stick silicon silicon bit of silicon sheet that we've cut to size and it stops things sliding about on there down in this space next to the fridge we've got clipped onto the side is the table and right over at the other side you can just see the shiny long shiny thing that's the table leg that clips into place there and the only other thing down here at the moment is this uh, collapsible a washing up bowl come bucket it's got handles very useful but I'm sure in time we will put more things into there and it's it, at the moment it's where we have been keeping the bin oh, we've just emptied it uh, <laughs> down there so yeah a useful space for the future and this is the boot and in the boot we have got um, a jacket this is the um, curtain that we put around the front at night time. In here, this little box here, we've got toilet bags and towels in there. Put those back. And in this box here, there are pillows and a bed sheet. This here is our dish drying mat, which is just mostly lying in a place to dry my coat and our sleeping bags here and then just move this in this cupboard here got the bag with the electric cable in for when we want to hook up to electricity and we have got a kite over there in the corner is the Kelly kettle we want to boil some water and not use up our gas supply and in this bag here is our emergency toilet, a bob in a bag. I think that's all there is in there at the moment. And this back shelf here is the top third of our bed. So when the back seat folds down, this, is, this makes part of the bed. And underneath it, we have got uh, a bag with our hose in it. Um, a camping mat for those who need to do their back exercises a couple of rucksacks and we've got a couple of folding chairs here uh, my shoes my walking shoes and a little game of ball and what is what's that oh, toilet paper and in here, this little cupboard here, is just the gas bottle. Thank you.
Okay, well, I hope you found that uh, at least interesting, um, if not even useful. And if you're watching this and you're very experienced at camper vanning, then maybe you'd like to leave me a, a tip or two in the comments below the video. That would be that would be very welcome. And uh, or maybe you've had an idea from me me today <laughs> that you haven't thought of. I like watching other people's camper van tours at the moment uh, because yeah, I do get little ideas from different people. So thanks for spending your time with me today anyway, and I will be back again ever so soon. Um, definitely we'll be back with some of our camper van adventures. We are currently just at the end of five days uh, uh, in a part of Scotland I've never been to before. Maybe it's one that's a little bit less well known. And uh, yeah, so, so do call back. And of course I will be back with other, my other podcasts, which are the usual knitting and crochet and yeah all those sorts of things so anyway i'm going to leave it there for today so take great care of yourself um keep nice and busy and i will see you again soon okay then bye